Next up, we had WrestleMania 34, which was, in my opinion, a middle-of-the-road WrestleMania. Main event was a dud, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, where my attitude was, if you're going to go with Roman, just go with Roman. But of course, they have Brock Lesnar retain the title. Crowd was not caring about this match. You had Braun Strowman and Nicholas teaming up. Um, now that I think about it, this, this WrestleMania should probably be lower on the list now that I'm thinking about this. Uh, AJ Styles versus Nakamura. What a disappointment that was. You had Daniel Bryan making his comeback, and that was one of the highlights of the show. You know, a big feel-good moment to see Daniel Bryan finally back. Him and Shane McMahon defeating Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. You had John Cena finally getting a some semblance of a match with The Undertaker, only to lose in short order. You had Ronda Rousey, and this was another highlight of the show. Ronda Rousey coming in, her and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie. This was a really fun match. Um, so this and Daniel Bryan's return, to me, were the highlights of this show. Oh yeah, Charlotte beating Asuka, that was a head-scratcher as well. Now that I think about it, this should really be lower on the list, though. With all due respect to Caitlyn, who was there at the show, uh, this, was, this was one of the more disappointing WrestleManias. Although I will say Seth Rollins, The Miz, and Finn Balor triple threat, to me that was a really good WrestleMania match. So that, that one, to me, was one of the better opening matches in WrestleMania history.